All right, have fun. Okay. Getting Presley from school with the doggy. What's up? It's beautiful here today. Check this out. Look at this. Damn. Oh yes. You would think from this video, you're like, it's sunny. I go for a swim in the lake. No, you're not. You son of a, it is minus Anthony. How, how cold is it out? Minus six. Minus six. Burr. Celsius. Oof. Dude, that, it's cold out. It is cold. Hey, we were just going to show you guys some cool stuff. So this isn't my merch, but I was going to kind of walk you through like the process we go through to choose some of our merch stuff. It's actually, I find it interesting if you're into business or ever wondered how like we choose our stuff, this is what we go through. So like, these are some of the ideas of other designs, hoodies I've personally bought that I like over the years. Always been a fan of super dry, always was a big, um, you know, kind of really enjoyed how they really took the time to put all these little details into their clothing. You know, the tags are cool. The way this fits is really cool. Obviously Nike, can't go wrong with Nike. Check this out, you guys. And by the way, this is a brand new hoodie Anthony's got on. We haven't released it yet. This is like the Aperta line. So we have some, we obviously have the logo on the front and then we did this detailing down the sleeve. Big fan of that. That's almost like an off-white thing. Um, this hoodie has a lot going on. I love the bright color, as you guys know. It's got something on each sleeve, different actually on each sleeve. Little gradient type of design. It's got the just do it here. It's got all this up here. It's got things on the hood. It's got things on the back. This is a really busy one. And then obviously I have the cleaner. This is like a Nike Jordan. This has nothing on the front. This is also made out of neoprene. So it's super random, completely different. And you can see, this is what we go through. Like just looking at everything, how this fits, the design, the style, um, obviously bright colors. And then we come up with our own stuff. Now at the moment, we buy blanks and we print on them and we would like to get to a place where we can actually make our own clothing line. And that's kind of the idea with YSOB. By the way, you sons of bitches, this is the brand new YSOB winter heavyweight hoodie. It's super warm and everybody loves a snow camo. So this is kind of like the behind the scenes of what we don't put in vlogs. It's kind of fun. This is my house, it's by the, the daily way. daily grind, right? This like is the, the actual, the not so glamorous part of what you guys know DD is. Yes. Right? And I was shopping for another car, which I shop for were. every day. Damon shops for a new car. Every, every day. Single every day. single day. It's a new car. This is what I'm buying. What do you think about this? I guess this I'm, oh, I'm not going to show them yet. I'm not going to show <laughs> you. I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. So if you ever wondered, like in my house, what do I got? I got lots of weird little things. There's always camera gear everywhere. Yeah. So down here, I have like, oh, dog bone. I stepped on that. I have radios. We always have radios from when we drive. I have some camera gear here. Now my wife, my wife goes nuts. Wifey loses it when I leave my stuff hanging around. Like this is me. Okay. When I'm home, when we leave tomorrow for a little work project, she'll clean all this up and it'll be spotless in here. And then I'll come back and I'll be like, Bleh, throw my stuff everywhere. But, um, lots of cute, cool things in here. Now, funny enough, uh, my boy, Derek Lewis, do you guys know who Derek Lewis is? He is a heavyweight UFC fighter and he's only like three or four people destroying three or four people away from, I think maybe getting a title shot. So we're always cheering Derek on and he sent me this cool bobblehead. This is some of his merchandise and, uh, yeah, you guys should go give, uh, the beast, the, on Instagram, a follow Derek's my man. What else do we got around here? Just random stuff. Always have, uh, <laughs> look at that, Manscaped brand stuff. You guys ever, want, you ever wondered what's in my fridge? Again, this whole channel that you guys are getting to see kind of like raw, uncut, behind the scenes, just random stuff. We're going to throw little things in. I'm going to show you a car I was just like looking at here in a minute, but my fridge, okay? I like sour um, so I like things like uh, vinegar, I like pickles, I like mustard, I like horseradish. So I got horseradish, I like blue cheese olives when we do like a dirty martini, cause Anthony and I like a dirty martini every yeah. once in a while, you know, after a long day. Got the pickles, got the big thing of mustard. Um, by the way, my wife's a vegetarian, so no meat. There is no meat in here. I do, I do eat meat, I eat steak, I eat chicken. But at the moment, we're out of meat because she knows that I'm going to go do some work for a day or two. 
So she's got her meal prep, which is tofu. Blech. I'll eat it, but it's not my favorite thing. Lots of fruit, lots of veggies, uh, lots of cheese. I love cheese. Cheese is just yummy. I love peanut butter. So again, that was just quick. Just wanted to show you random stuff. Um, it's my home. I don't really show you guys my house a whole lot. I just went through some stuff in my uh, closet. My wife's like, you gotta go through your closet because your closet is excessive. It's cluttery. You guys are not wearing, you're not wearing half the stuff because you're always wearing your DDE stuff or your YSOB stuff. So I had like, actually we should show them quickly. You wanna see this? I actually wanna see, cause I heard there was a mountain of clothes on your bed that I could go through. There's stuff that he can go through, yeah. It's like, we're doing it all. By the way, we painted our whole house white. Our house was not white when we bought it. This was like green and out here was like yellow and we could keep all the doors closed, which is convenient because of the new puppy. But, um, oh, there's the color. See that color? See that gross olive color? Well, my whole house was like that. It's such a difference, dude. It's so much nicer with the white. Yes. So let's go up the stairs. Oh, one of my favorite things about this place is the view of the lake. Yeah. It's really, you can't beat it. The view of the lake is gorgeous. And there's an, a master down here, Presley's room's down here. Oh, this is like another master bedroom. Anyhow, gorgeous view of the lake, pretty much anywhere from this home. And here, I'll show you. Check this out. When she started folding it all, look at all this clothes. Oh, yeah, that's close. <laughs> so yeah, this is all clothing I don't really wear. Or, to be completely honest, I don't fit anymore. <laughs> I'm a bit too thick. Uh, so, we have like all these hoodies. And there is a DD hoodie in here, but this is because it's a large. This was a sample. Um, I fit an XL. I got like, look, at, I got Adidas stuff in here. This is all trendy. Adidas. All nice stuff. Not worn out. This is an OG. This is super OG. This is like a super OG DD piece of merch. Look at this. Holy, I actually remember this. Have you ever actually released a, a drop with this? this I did. Is like I did. School, the very, very limited. The reverse. This was like back when uh, Tasha and I did it ourselves. Like how old is this? How old is this? Oh, that's like f at least four years old. Wow. Four years. Yeah, I remember and that. It's still good condition. So anyhow, look, like old ties when I had a job. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I wore this stuff uh, when I used to work at the brick. I still work. I mean, I mean like a job. And then I just have like dress shirts, which I, you, no one ever sees me wear a dress shirt. And then look, I got a big stack of like jeans and denim. I got, you know, true religion in here. I got all sorts of really good stuff. Unfortunately, again, uh, I started doing legs in the gym and I don't, fit. <laughs> I don't fit. I just don't fit. So uh, car, I'll show you. Actually, you ever wondered what my, my drawers are like? So this drawer has watches in it. Now, this is a really fun thing. I've never really shown anybody this. This was the very first when I wanted to be cool and I wanted a nice watch, this Breitling. This is a fake Breitling. This is not real. This is a $700 replica. Looks really good cool. replica, like feel the weight. Oh yeah. Because I couldn't afford a Breitling, but I wanted one and I wanted something to aspire to. So I spent like $600 on one of these fully automatic rip-offs. Yeah, it's a really, and it's the a really detail, good rip-off. It looks like the real yeah. deal. Um, I'm a big fan of G-Shocks, you guys. Oh, cool. I like G-Shocks for the sporty, kind of like rugged look. I bought this randomly when I was drunk in Vegas. It needs yeah. a new battery, rose gold. Um, everybody needs a Ferrari watch. That's this one was cool. cool with the one, two, and three in the tricolor. And it's got some engraving on the back. And then as you guys know, Dave and I, um, this is a fun watch. This is a diving watch. This is um, an Oris. It's titanium. Uh, nice automatic watch. This is from Switzerland. And if you didn't know, I'm Swiss. I'm half Swiss. My mom lives in Switzerland. My mom's whole side of the family, my aunts, my uncles, my gross smoothie, which is my grandmother, all live in Switzerland. My mom lived here for 26 years, but went back when her dad passed away. So Swiss stuff in my culture is like, it's not just like I wanted a fancy watch. It's because it's also like my heritage. And my mom used to send me the Rolex catalog like every year. I remember looking through that every year. And so this isn't a flex. This is legit. Dave and I wanted to buy one nice watch when we hit a milestone and we hit it. 
And so you might remember this from an episode, but we went and bought Rolexes. And this is mine right here. Um, it's a Yacht Master 2 and it's two tone. But this really symbolizes like a milestone in, in the company for me. And it's cool to have. I'm not looking to collect a whole bunch of watches, as you can see. I like the cheap watches too. Like these are like a hundred yeah, bucks. Yeah, I didn't even know that you had the G Shocks. Yeah, these are like a couple, awesome. couple hundred bucks. I like that's the legit. murdered out one. I really like them. So I have the cheap stuff. I have a few nice things. I have a bunch of bougie stuff. Like when you say bougie, I mean like brand name stuff. I went through this phase. This is my closet, by the way. I went through this phase where I bought brand name stuff. And I learned really quickly that like brand name shoes are just really uncomfortable. And so I just stopped wearing them. Some are okay, but like, check this out. I would never really wear these anymore, but like Gucci high tops, like these are real Gucci high tops, just random stuff that you might not ever see that I would never show in a vlog, but like Balenciaga high tops, um, look at Oh, Lu those are sick. You've never worn those? Louis Vuitton. These, these match like the orange car. That's like the 720 Aperta shoe. Yeah, dude. or Aperta. Yeah, 720 Aperta right there. Louis Vuitton shoes. I have, uh, uh, what else? These are all in their dust covers. These are Gucci. These are cool. Oh, yeah, I remember when you got those yeah. in LA. These are from, yeah. The you and Dave got matching ones. Those are the Rodeo Gucci store right there. I just have random stuff. Like, you want to get really kind of out of yeah. out of control? yeah. How about some Christian Louboutins, brother? Christian Louboutins. You know, this is like this is. Old, <laughs> you got you got to remember before I did YouTube, I did affiliate marketing, and there were a lot of conferences in Vegas. And you go to Vegas, and you hang out with all these guys that make online money, like really big online money. And we'd all have some drinks and go shopping and get out of hand. And you buy, I think these shoes, I kid you not, are like two thousand dollars. And I've had them forever. I've gotten a lot of use out of them. And they weren't overly uncomfortable. And you wear them out and you look really flashy in Vegas, which you just blend in there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the only thing I wore them for. I'd never wear them anywhere else. Um, you know, you go bosses. But I've cleaned out most of my stuff. I've got a few stupid things still sticking around. Like this was a limited edition Louboutin. I really like that. And I busted your balls lots yeah, about having this fanny pack. But man. I really, really like this. And it's super, super limited edition. And purse. yeah, that's worth a lot of money. It's right actually, now. it's designed after a motorsport thing. That's the whole 1888. Uh, cool. You can see. So I, I, I have all this stuff. I don't really wear it, but you can see, look, my closet is all DDE, YSOB, DDE, old school stuff. This is the most mad whips. Oh yeah. I got, represent. I got Thank you. you. I got you, bro. Um, this is the most OG DD hat. Did I see a Ferrari ever. logo on there? Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I put that on when I had my 458. That's awesome. And the Scuderia, because I had two Ferraris at the time. Got more DD hats. I got DD hoodies here, the American one, the my British one, my Canadian one, YSOB. Oh, oh, got a VF Engineering. Oh, I love that one. Hoodie. I actually really love this hoodie. Another DD hoodie. This is the one that went after like Dave's Dave's car yeah. with the neon writing on it. Anyhow, just showing you guys some of the like things that you wouldn't see in a Daily Driven Exotics vlog. That's it. I'll clean that up later. My wife will think the dog got into it. <laughs> <laughs> She'll freak out. She'll be looking for a chew mark. So you want to see what cars I'm currently looking at? Yeah. See, I'm always, like Anthony said, with this business, you're always looking for the next car. So it's an obsession. Um, every day I'm on the internet shopping for a potential new car and it goes around in circles. It goes around in circles with, should I sell a bunch of cars and buy a really expensive car? Should I buy more little cars? And every day it's like this, that, or the next thing. By the way, I wanna show you guys this. Um, this is the new hat that goes along with this collection. And then there's also gonna be new key tags. And these are really cool. These are all the neon yellow to go with it. And you know what? When we make this stuff, not everything's rainbows and sunshine. Uh, this got shipped to me from our supplier. And look how crooked that logo is. So, uh, yeah, I deal with little challenges like this all the time. That's just business. My camera for vlogging, using my phone just to film this. It's quick and dirty. But here you go. Today's car is a JDM car. I just got on this little JDM train lately and I was like, ooh, I like this car. 
and I'm gonna just play this little YouTube video they made for it. It's an LM, really rare. They only made 102 of these, and it is the uh, R33 GTR LM V-Spec. And this blue is not Bayside blue. This blue is called Championship Blue. You can see they do this little video of showing you the car's condition, that it's drivable and all that. But um, anyhow, it's cool. I just wanted, this guy's going to do like some sort of review or something on it. He's showing all the gauges. But look at it. I really like the color. Championship blue. The front end. Super clean, huh? It's really clean. The engine's really clean. Let's see if we can show the engine here. Oh, here's the engine bay. Like, look how clean the engine bay is. So this is the this is the R33 LMV spec. This looks like a car that I was like, oh, this would be cool. Who knows? I don't know. This is just random stuff. I was like, oh, this would be cool. The other car, oh, you guys might like this one. The other car is this. Yeah. This is a 1994 uh, NSX, but it's a Type R. It's a real Type R from Japan. And look at this. It's got the Type R Honda steering wheel. I just really like this car. It's got the titanium shift knob. If you remember this, they, they actually also put this in an S2000. But look at these prices. It's crazy. This is a quarter million dollars <laughs> USD for a 94 NSX. This would be the slowest damn car for $250,000 you could probably buy. But it's cool and it'll go up in value. And it's just, it's this, this one's pretty clean. I found another one that's like almost brand new and they wanted half a million dollars. Yeah, you're telling me. 500, it's actually on here. The Alcantara. No, look, look, no, this is this one right here. 480 for this car. 480,000 for this one. This one's got like extra low kilometers. Uh, 18,000 K, but look at this. Look at this. Wow. So clean. Looks so good. So good. Anyhow, this is what we do. This is what I do. I shop for cars all the time. 27 year old car. 27 That's years. That's insanity, right? Yeah. I found some other cars that I like too. Like guys, I'm still looking for a CGT. It's just hard to find one with low K that's going to be justifiable that I can afford to buy and then drive. CGT, I'm not trying to buy CGT. a collector car. And, yeah, so many people are collecting them that it's like, yeah, you know? Yeah. So this is it. Car shopping. What do you guys think? What do you vote for? Under a million dollars. Once you get over a million bucks, it starts to get really tough. But there's only so many cars. But every once in a while, like funny enough, Shmi made a video and it was about the SLR. And Raymond and I were just talking about how an SLR is a lot of car. It's a quirky car. It's got doors that go up. It's that, it's very unique. There's nothing like it yeah, on the marketplace. It's the only Mercedes McLaren collaboration they've ever done. And now we have the opportunity to buy one of those for like 300 US. Now that is relatively cheap. It's in that sub $500,000 price range. I never even thought about that car. Because cars like the LFA, yeah, ha yeah. over half a mil. Right. They're half a million bucks or whatever they are now. So this is kind of what we do, you guys. And we're going to do like a download of stories that we put up on Instagram that we think are really good, that are behind the scenes that you haven't seen. So this whole channel is to basically be like just giving you that extra behind the scenes, kind of like what's going on. The real um, world. The real world. The real DVD. Unedited, raw. You guys want to go check out the garage quickly? You want to have a look in there? I do have to wash the 488. It does need a little wash. So maybe we could throw on some shoes. Do I have shoes out here? I don't think so. I'll grab a pair of shoes. And we will rip out to the garage quickly. I think your shoes are over there. I go pick it. I have it, by the way, you want to see something else? I got like shoes stashed everywhere. I have shoes in this closet. I have a shoe problem. I have a shoe problem. So I have all these shoes. <laughs> so... Let's see, what do we want? We'll take some crazy Air Max 90s, like these. And then we're gonna go check out what's in the garage. We'll be launching this new merch um, probably in about a week's time. We'll announce everything on the Daily Driven Exotic YouTube channel, Instagram, blah, 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 blah. And you guys will be able to check all that stuff out. I think, it, I think it's already open. Anyhow, it's really cold here right now. We're getting like all time seasonal lows. But, oh, you feel that little wind? Yeah. That's, That's chilly. That's chilly. Got the pool cover on. 
the snow is melted, but I don't know if we'll get more snow. It's just supposed to be super, super cold for the next little while. Oh, garage came along nicely and then we didn't really use it. There we go. Got the Aperta, got the 488, got tires. I have tires everywhere. My whole other garage on the side of the house is just covered in tires. Yeah, we'll have to show them that because it's actually a sight to be seen. Yeah, in the next video, I have tires over here. So anyhow, this car is kind of dirty. I think I need to probably take the 488 winter beater and give it a solid little rundown, a scrub. And uh, yeah, I have like, look, I have parts. When August takes stuff out of the cars, it ends up here in Never Neverland. That's basically every body panel to a 720. That's the hood, the fenders, the rear diffuser, um, side skirts, everything that we took off to put the Vorsteiner stuff on. Look, I even have like just random grills I took out of that car, which I think we grinded Actually, we did. We ground off the body pieces yeah. that held this on. So this can never go back on. Oh, wow. So at some point, hey, what do you guys think? Should we just like throw up a random item on each video and be like, hey, you know, like if you want this, you know, uh, I don't know, do blah, blah, blah. And we'll pick a winner and we'll give it away. Like Raymond does. He just gives random stuff this away. This actually really cool. Well, it is cool. It says McLaren on it. It's a literally... nice little desk, like sitting on your desk. Dude. Well, the funny thing is, this is intact and not cut. Yeah. I would imagine this is like worth quite a bit. Oh, like, I wonder if you called McLaren and were like, hey, I need that. that I need that rear bumper grill with the logo on it. Yeah. How much is this? Well, how much do you think this is? Probably a thousand bucks. A thousand dollars? I got to find out. Now I'm curious. If it's a thousand dollars, I might not be giving it away. <laughs> I am kind of stingy. <laughs> and then these are the old turbo inlets. These are made out of plastic, they're OEM. I got uh, unobtainium billet ones now that even say DDE in them. Cool. They are cool. So I just have all this random stuff. We put Fox shocks in Wifey's G-Wagon. We have the desk here. By the way, we have the DDE grenade, which is really cool. If you have never seen this, you have to be really OG to know what this is. This is a one of two uh, made by Mr. Debonair, Debonair Art. He makes these cool fake, obviously, grenades right and or he you know paints on ARs and stuff and puts them in these frames and he does all this cool like design stuff so this was designed after one of my old liveries on the on the Huracan um Anthony got me a Christmas present these amazing Nikes I keep them in here because I don't want to get them dirty I basically only wear them when I work out they're sick all of our YouTube plaques um, the very first 100K, and then they actually changed the design of the awards uh, within the coming years. So like, that's what the OG, well, when I was around uh, 1,000 or 100,000 subscriber plaque looked like, and now it looks like this. So I got this one when we hit 100 on my personal channel, and this is of course the million. But yeah, just random stuff. 458 seat out of the old OG tire slayer. Well, you guys, this is it. This is kind of all we have. I got a long enough video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We're going to have lots of crazy stuff, lots of behind the scenes, lots of things that you just won't see on the Daily Driven Exotic YouTube channel. Yeah, like the stuff that I film of him and Dave. Behind the scenes. Talking about stuff. Yeah. BTS. We're going we're gonna to use like, scenes. we're going to use industry slang, okay? <laughs> it's not behind the scenes. We're just the BTS shots. BTS shots. BTS shots. Um... By the way, shout out to okay, shout out to Tanner Fox for sending Presley one of his pro scooters. Uh, this thing's cool. You can watch Tanner sometimes in videos hit people in the shin with these and then pay them. <laughs> he does that. He's crazy. And we'll put this up soon. This is my massive Lamborghini sign that the boys at August made me. I didn't know you got this. You haven't seen it? No. Oh, it's crazy, dude. Oh wow. There's it's two of them? It, it oh, makes up one big one. It makes up Lamborghini. Dude, is this carbon Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, look. This it. is carbon fiber? Yeah, look. Look at it. And it's got a backlit Lambo get sign. Get the fuck out of here. Right? Yeah, we'll have to delete all those. Get the, Sick. Get the Fs out of here. Anthony. All right, guys. Smash the subscribe button. We'll see you in another video. I'm going to go wash the uh, 488 because it's disgusting. The Aperta looks good. Peace.